If you know, so a killer Volta run the place, quad bike, motorbike, electric bike, you know this is the place. Show him the garage. Anything, everything, anything you need, we got it. We got it, son. <laughs> Man, mama tell you, bring your money, bring your money, bring your money. Right, so, bang, today we're actually celebrating. What are we celebrating? We're celebrating one quarter of a million views on the channel. That's right, 250K views on the channel. Now, I got an envelope this morning from head office saying, congratulations, you smashed it. We're treating you to a company car. Obviously, the car's gonna be electric, so I'm gassed. That's right, I'm getting an electric car today. You heard it here first. Now we're gonna have a look at some of the cars that I think they would have bought me. Yeah, we've got the Tesla Model X, that's looking pretty damn sick. The Tesla Model 3 is also looking kinda cool. I like the Model X a bit more. Then we're going on to the more, let's say, outrageous options. Yeah, obviously I've been working hard, so you know that they might go a bit outrageous. We've got the Porsche Taycan. Now this one, I'm hoping is the one that they choose for me because I can see myself a bit in a push. But anyway, the car is being delivered in the next half an hour. I'm gonna excitedly try and relax and just rub my hands together and be excited about receiving a company car. And that's it, Look, I will see you back in half an hour and we're gonna check out what car they got me. They asked me to just chill out and come, away, come out the workshop for a bit so they could deliver the car. Obviously exciting times, they're trying to make it a surprise for me, so they're saying it's been delivered now. I've been looking at more electric cars, it could be Koenigseggs, Teslas, Polestars, all the rest of them. I'm super excited, I can't wait. I literally can't wait. I can see a delivery... That looks a bit... That looks a bit small for a delivery truck. Let's... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, you see um, a Model 3 or a Plaid, I think they're quite compact and they're quite, but yeah, guaranteed whatever it is, is gonna be very fast. I'm pretty certain of that. The suspense is absolutely killing me, you know that. Bear in mind, I, I haven't driven in a good few years, so I'm excited to get behind the wheel again. Here we are, the moment of truth. We're gonna find out what vehicle it is. I'm saying, Taycan or Tesla, come on. Played, Mod Lex. Yeah, let's do it, let's see what you've got. What is this? Oh my God, what is this? Hey, have they just pranked me or what? Nah! There's a note saying battery's not included. Ah, oh, man. So I'm kind of over the depression that it's not a Tesla or it's not a Polestar. It's definitely not a Porsche Taycan, but it's a start. We're gonna work with it. Yeah, the, the note wasn't joking. Batteries are not included with this one. So we're gonna have to cook up a battery for it. What it is, I've had to do a bit of research on this one. It's an Indian built Reva G Wiz. Now these are road legal in the UK. If you have a CBT motorcycle license, as stock, they do 50 miles an hour and have 50 miles of range. Let's have a little look around the car in its current state, see what it's doing and have a little think about what we're gonna do to improve. Despite the small size of it, we do actually have four seats. Now we're gonna do a test on how well we can fit four people into this. So we've tried fitting four people in. We've got Shit. just about Alex. Go around the car for us, please, man. <laughs> now look, we got we kind of got four people in. Jeez. 
Yo, it's a bit cramped. Just go round the car, step back a bit. It's a bit cramped. Yeah, it's a, a bit, bit cramped. Yeah, that's it. This is a bit mad. Yeah, no, I need to get out, man. It's, it's hurting my leg. <laughs> <laughs> but, looking at... Right, let me get in the driver's seat quickly. Leave that door open so you can see me in the driver's seat there. Legroom isn't the greatest. The headroom isn't the greatest. I feel like any speed bumps, I could lose my head. The steering feels good though. <laughs> the steering feels very good. The steering feels very, very good. So, um, yeah, let's have a little look at what else we've got in here. Got a Sainsbury's bag. I've got a feeling we might need this towing iron. Yeah, definitely going to need that. I think that's some kind of washer fluid. It seems like the crumple zone in this car is going to be your legs. It doesn't seem like there's a lot going on there. Check out the boot. Got treasures, we've got treasures. Look, an official Reaver toolkit. Got a, I think that's for a wheel nut. I think that's a can opener. I have no idea what that one is. I think that's an attachment for the can opener. Oh, no, 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 this isn't a can opener. This is a do-it-yourself put together your own pair of pliers. Mmm. Oh my gosh. We've got an Allen key here. Pliers. And oh, I think I've just lost the nut from the, the pliers, but that's the nut from the pliers. Screwdriver and various other tools. We'll just pop them back in there. I've got a very good feeling we're gonna need this tool kit when the first time we drive this, so. Now, let's try and have a look at some of the good stuff. Oh my God. So, the Reva G Wiz comes in two formats. We've got an AC format and we've got a DC format from this very nice Curtis. SEP X DC motor controller. I can only presume we are looking at the DC you version. Me back in a few minutes. Yeah, looking at this, I can only presume that this is the DC version. I have no idea what all of this stuff is here, but we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. So I think the plan with the car realistically is it runs at 48 volt currently, 48 volt DC. We're gonna find out what the maximum this controller can take and we're gonna build a battery to that specification. Originally, they quote a top speed on this of 50 miles an hour. Now, I, I do not believe that for one second. I think this is probably only doing in the realms of 30 miles an hour, so. We need to, more testing is required. We need to get ourselves, first I think we need to strip this open a bit more. The batteries go under the front seats, I know that much. So we need to lift the front seats up, go into that battery compartment and find out what's going on. So we've just done a quick tour of the car. We had a quick look around. I've sat in it, I've realized that you kind of sat with your face in front of the windscreen like this. So it's quite claustrophobic, but it's a start, it's a start. If you're excited by this project and you can't wait for us to get working on it, let us know in the comments. Let us know by leaving a like. I hope you've enjoyed today's video more than I have because I got kind of tricked here. I thought I was getting a Tesla or a tire can. I got this, but it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. So, thank you very much for watching. See you next time, it's been Killer Volt Bikes. Yeah, I thought the episode was over, but I decided we should probably explore a bit deeper into this specimen 
I want to open up where the battery goes, which is under the seat, and just see how much space we've got to play with. like a proper car mechanic now. I'm doing car mechanic stuff. Some fast car coming soon. Oh, here we go. Right, let me see. Yeah. 